Imagine we could send a message, not to our planetary neighbors, but to the nearest galaxy, Andromeda, a colossal disk of stars two and a half million light years away. Our greeting, traveling at the speed of light, would embark on a lonely odyssey through the intergalactic void. By the time that simple hello reached its destination, the human civilization that sent it might be only an echo in Earth's geological history, a fossilized memory beneath layers of rock and time. And if an Andromedan civilization were to respond to us instantly, its message would undertake an equally long return journey, arriving in an earthly future so distant that our descendants, if they existed, would be an alien species to us. It wouldn't be a conversation, but an exchange of testaments between worlds separated by an unbridgeable ocean of time. Unless, of course, physics offers us a shortcut. What if we could transmit information through a wormhole, a fold in the fabric of space-time, or master quantum entanglement to communicate instantaneously, violating the tyranny of distance? The exchange of knowledge would be monumental, we could share the secrets of the universe with minds forged beneath other stars, solving in days enigmas that would take us eons to decipher. But this brings us to the true and most profound question, what would we say? The first intergalactic message would be the definitive legacy of our species, our crowning achievement. We couldn't send trivialities, we would have to condense all our science, our art, our philosophies, and our hopes into a data package that defined what it means to be human. It would be our ultimate time capsule, our digital ghost traveling the cosmos, proof that on a small blue world, one species looked up at the stars and dared to ask if anyone else was listening.